Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're gonna paint some uh, peace lilies. Actually, you probably aren't gonna wanna paint this. This did not come out very well, uh, but it started off pretty strong. I started off uh, going by this plant that I, you can see there on the right-hand side of the screen, and I was using some alcohol markers to sketch in the uh, design on this very large canvas. It's about three feet by four feet. It's an Arteza canvas. Actually, the canvas was great. was great. The paints were great. The brushes were great that I was using. Just it was my skill that seemed to be the sticking point on this. But it started off strong. I really like this part of the painting where I'm just kind of putting gobs of paint on the canvas and then just blending it with a brush and letting it mix on the canvas. I really liked the way that was coming out. I liked the design. I liked everything about it till I started painting the flowers, honestly, and that's where everything just kind of fell apart, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just trying to fill in the canvas at this point. I'm trying to get the edges while I'm at it because I was hoping to have something nice and bright and cheerful to put up in my kitchen. So I thought the blues would be really nice. And uh, when I have a big painting like this, I just like to paint around the edges because the canvas is stapled on the back and that way I don't have to frame it. I don't have that expense and um, you know, it can just be hung up as soon as it's dry. I'm using acrylic paints today. I'm working pretty quickly so they can blend um, and kind of almost like in a kind of Van Gogh impressionist type style of painting. So now um, I decided that I wanted to, I don't know why I decided to do the centers first, probably because I wanted to just kind of see how the design of that was going to, was going to look. They kind of look like eggs here, <laughs> like, uh, like fried eggs at the moment, but um, I decided that I would start going in and, and painting the flowers and that might help things a bit. And instead of having gray shadows, I thought I would do some purple, which um, seemed better in my head because once I got the purple and the pink in there, which was actually that red from the center with white added, it was just not feeling uh, uh, like it was working. It was feeling very, um, very, I don't know, very discordant, even though I was mixing colors I was already using, but I tried to blend it as best as I could, which uh, it can be no small feat when I'm working with acrylics, but actually this worked pretty well, probably because it was a rainy day and I was downstairs in my basement studio, which is, you know, it's kind of damp, so that can uh, that can facilitate blending a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure if this painting is terrible or it's just my perception of it, but I figured with Sketchbook Sunday, it's the time to put the work that you're experimenting with you wouldn't ordinarily, or I wouldn't ordinarily have another place to, to share it. And it being Mother's Day today, I won't get a chance to work in my sketchbook. So I thought this would be better than nothing. Maybe not, I don't know. So here I'm going over the center parts with um, some green. I figured maybe just having a little bit of red peeking through my work and I think it helped but um, I think I was just so thrown by the red that maybe it was just I don't know just not working for me uh, I'm adding some white for highlights on the edges of the flower to get kind of like the turned petals and um, I did like that part I could evaluate this a little bit better I guess after letting a couple days go between me and this painting at this point I'm just touching up any edges that I couldn't get to before because of, the, of how it was sitting on the easel and um, now I'm going back in and just adding some like red highlights to the edges of the leaves because I wanted them to kind of pull away from the background a little bit. I don't know if this just made it more chaotic or what, but uh, it's going to sit on my easel for a few days while I contemplate it, I guess. Uh, I want to wish all the moms out there a happy Mother's Day. I hope you are appreciated and you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and till next time, happy crafting.